Thank you, Brad. Mind you, most of what I say you don't need to. It's really to give the guys uh, time to catch up with their drinking. <laughs> That's the main purpose of it. We're going to ask uh, Ed. Oh, yeah. Ed, we're going to ask uh, Ed Hughes to join us in the singing on this next one. It's a tune by Ask Lewis and Young from 1925 called Diner. As could there be anyone a fire?
join us on another song. This is one. This is one that uh, you probably know from the film Casablanca. It was called As Time Goes By. One, two, uh, one, two, three. <laughs> altogether, once in one key, once in another key, and once I wasn't sure which key it was, <laughs> and uh, he did, uh, Esther Bigger was singing on one of them. So, I mean, on our arrangement, we've uh, uh, mixed them all together, so you get rid of the best of all three worlds. Uh, it's, the tune's called West Indies Blues, and it's like, uh, say, it'd be nice to go back to the West Indies. 
you know, that's if you live in New York or somewhere like that, West Indies. Blues.
Through. So he got some, lots of twiddly bits in. <laughs> but now, uh, because he's not with us, we're going to adopt a more egalitarian approach to this. Yeah. Steve put me onto that word. I was saying democratic. He said, no, it's not democratic, it's egalitarian. <laughs> so there we are. He educates me. It's pretty good. He's not the only person who educates me. My gentleman they told me how to spell canon the other day. I, I said I was a loose cannon, and he said, were you defrocked or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, back to, the, back to the subject in hand. Now, the most important thing is that we have with us, as, a, as our guest, uh, add, adding to the lineup, uh, Tom Whittingham here, and he's going to play a different bit from the rest of us. He's going to play at sea. So all the bits at sea, where, where we're not playing, you play. So we do a twiddly bit, and then you do the twiddly bit on your own, you know. I'm frank with you, don't you? know what I mean? That's at C. We do the first one. Anyway, uh, let's do it and see if it works. It's called Femal Flight.
You came along. Nobody knows it by their name, that name. Everyone calls it Out of Nowhere. Out of Nowhere. Uh, because the title is You Came Along from Out of Nowhere. And if you listen to the words, you can see that that's what it's singing. We'll play it.
we're going to do uh, one more number and then take an interval and it's, uh, it's going to join us on this. is uh, one by Evan Berlin from 1928. Yes. And it's called Putting on the Ritz.
you very much. Let us say uh, to the court, will you, won't you be my baby? It was uh, recorded by McKinney's Cotton Pickets, which is a big orchestra that played somewhere, I don't know, in the States. But they're jolly good, weren't they? Uh, we're going to do another one uh, by uh, a famous jazz orchestra. This is uh, one of the Duke Ellington's uh, tunes, and it's called East St. Louis Tougaloo. And in this one, I'm going to ask Tom Whittingham, who's guesting with us today, to play the bit at C instead of the bass. Here it says, on my copy, it says, bass or trombone. Well, sorry about that tone. But, um, so as we have a trombone, we're going to take the opportunity of getting them to play at letter C. East St. Louis Tudor. Oh, I have to find out how fast this goes. I've got a metronome down here.
said for you not to pack Didn't I tell you that you'd come back someday? And further, didn't I tell you that you would miss My affectionate hug and kiss? Didn't I tell you you couldn't stay away? I knew that you were going to be Unhappy on another knee I knew that you were going to find You'd leave your happiness behind just to show you that I'm okay, I'll forgive you, but by the way, didn't I tell you that you'd come back someday? <laughs> something and snagging it, like latch on to. Therefore, if you latch on to something, you understand it. You know what I mean? I think that's what it means. That's one of the explanations of the term. Anyway, snag it. Thank you. 
to New York and uh, Fletcher Henderson. A tune called Sugar. There are several tunes called Sugar. <clears throat> this is one of them. And um, <clears throat> I call it Sugar. Hey, I won't bother to go into that. But we'll just play it. Fletcher Henderson and Sugar. That's what I'll name you. that uh, Louis Armstrong played on his recording of it. I'm going to play a bit at the end. And we are going to play the optional extra coda. So when you get to the end of letter D, there's another one, two, three, four, five, six bars at the end. So as long as you count along, you won't get lost. <laughs> Eight misbehaving. Thank you. 
hotel in Hesperhaven and said, my love for you, believe me, I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with flattering, it's just you I'm thinking of. Ain't this for heaven? I'm said my love for you. just as they got news of the Big Depression. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it? Adrian Yellen again, they did this tune. And uh, it was recorded, well, and it may be recorded, that Jack Payne is the model for our recording with Ed singing on, in the style of Jack Payne, if I may admit. Happy days are here again, and this is an interval number. Thank you. 
signs of Belfast there again Let us sing a song of cheer again Happy days are there again All together shout now There's no one who could doubt it now So let's tell the world about it now Happy days are here again The old cares and troubles are gone Here again, the skies above are clear again. Let's sing the song of cheer again. Happy days are here again.
Or thine house blues? Philip Brayhead, an Englishman wrote that. My house being the sort of area of Prague, East London, north of the river. Used to be a Chinese area. If we're going to uh, invite uh, it, uh, Hughes to sing us another song. This is one by three people. Harold Arlen, it says, Billy Rose and Edgar Hardberg. 1933, a bit modern for us. It's only a paper moon.
go, that's where I'll be Come tiptoe through the tulips with me Tiptoe from the pillow to the shadow of a willow tree And tiptoe through the tulips with me Italian, so <laughs> doesn't matter. But they needed a name in order to appear on a record label um, to avoid uh, contractual difficulties. So we put it this way. Anyway, the tune is uh, we're going to do their their version of it, the Cotton Pickers. Um, it's called Mama Goes Where Papa Goes.
call on uh, Chris Newman, who is in the audience, to come and join us. And I'm going to give him some charts. So he's got a place. Yes, I'm the only one in band uniform. <laughs> <laughs> it has been band. Yeah. 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 The first one is uh, a new audience band. You played before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on less than two, mate. Uh, it's uh, number 102, Chris. It's, uh, it's a new audience band. They're, they're a bunch called the Halfway House Orchestra. And that's not astonishing because they used to play at an establishment called the Halfway House, which wasn't astonishing because it was halfway between New Orleans and Blake Pontchartrain. It all makes sense, doesn't it? And the tune we're going to play is called When I'm Blue. And it starts in 3-4, so I'm counting two bars of 3-4, very sharpish. And then we're going to go into 4-4 four, four after that, so wait and see what happens.
thank you very much. We're, we're going to our last number, and this is where I have a memory test. I have to remember everyone's name, including my own. It's just not so easy now. I'd like to tell you who's in the band. We have on trumpet, Steve Graham. <laughs> Arthur Vincent. We have on trombone guesting with us Tom Whittingham. We have on sousaphone Tony Mann. We have on drums Mike Pike. We have on occasional singing. That was Mel Harrell. On the singing, Ed Hughes. <laughs> and we on the knee flat metal clarinet, we had Pen Pen Kelly. <laughs> Just recently, we've had singing on piano, Chris Newman. <laughs> I'm Des <Desmond. laughs> Thank you very much, Nicky. Tell you what, we've played the last number then. It's called Sheik of Araby. Can we do the over the desert one for you then? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, my God. 